There it is. I was on a flutter down. Oh! Oh, came off. No. Oh, came back. <laughs> Yo, 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 suckers, welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bears G here, AKA Tony, AKA Macro Slayer. You guys already know the deal. Back out here, San Diego Bay, Harbor Island, on a beautiful, beautiful Friday morning out here in San Diego. If you guys cannot see right behind me, we got a beautiful San Diego skyline. Air is kind of musty. I can tell it's already gonna be a warm day today. Yep, it is Friday, 6.30 a.m. Gonna do some good old bay fishing. And I'm gonna be throwing a bait that I have not thrown in many, many years. If you guys are not familiar with the crocodile, this is the bait I will be throwing today. This is one of the Walmart special, an OG bait. We used to throw this way back in the day for halibut, croaker, macro, pretty much anything and everything. Uh, if you guys never thrown a crocodile before, you guys should try, uh, try it out because it, it used to be a staple for me for Bonito and all the other good predatorial fish out here in San Diego, especially from the pier. If you guys can get your hands on some crocodiles at Walmart, your local tackle shop, you guys should and add one to your tackle because if you guys can't find irons, you guys can't find cast masters, crocodiles are the next best thing. All right guys, let's check the tide chart right now. All right, it is currently at 2.23 feet and the peak low tide is gonna be at 10.37 a.m. I got about an hour and a half, maybe two hours to fish before I gotta go home and you know handle some business. But it's gonna be dropping all the way down to 0.8 feet. That's pretty damn low. And the slope is kind of gradual. We got a first quarter moon right now. The tide swing does look a lot better than this evening. So yeah, you guys will probably see it in the picture. All right, enough of this. Let's get that crocodile rig up and uh, Slap you guys on my chest. Let's get this morning started. So you guys stay tuned and enjoy the show. Let's go. All right, all right, guys. We are hopping right into it. Crocodile. This one's an all chrome one. This one weighs five eighths of an ounce. I think you can throw it. You can find these at Walmart, local tackle shop. They are readily available. It comes with two hooks, like a giant J hook right here treble so it's crocodile right there it's essentially a spoon so yeah it should work out here i mean it will work out here already see some boils out there tons of boils out there actually oh man let's get this guy rigged up real quick i will be bringing my bag with me just in case you guys already know i might be harvesting some mackerel if i get any Too early to get hurt. Oof, see, first cast. Gotta get that line wet. Let's whip it way out there, let it sink. This bait does come with a barrel swivel, so as you're cranking it in or working the bait in, it's spinning. Especially with the sun coming out. Hopefully it adds a lot more flash to this bait and trigger a bite. It'd be pretty crazy if we get a halibut on it today. Some boils way out there, one o'clock. Counting about one, two, three, four, five fishermen to my right. I can't see to my left. The sun's pretty bright that way. I'm going tight, so I'm gonna cast to my left. Let the current pull it to the right. was a bite though. I'm gonna shorten up my leader. Now I can get a little bit more distance. I really don't like it when 
the knots going through the guides for a cast. I want my connection not to be just an inch or two away from the rod tip. That way I can maximize my cast without the knot interfering with the cast. Just like that. You guys can see I have the knot outside of my rod. Cast way better. Shorter leader. Keep the knot out of your rod tip. Don't have to worry about any frays. And uh, you're able to whip it out pretty far. It's literally a boil right in front of me. You know what, I haven't caught a barracuda yet. It's one fish I need to catch this year, along with many others. Maybe the spoon is too big. I don't see no bait fish in the water to compare. There it is. Don't know what it is. Can't really tell. Oh, it's a map. Nice. Yeah, I didn't feel like keeping that smaller one right now. If you get a pretty big one, then yeah. You know what I don't see? Birds. There's literally no birds out here right now. Usually we have those really ugly birds swimming around, some seagulls flocking everywhere, but yeah. Maybe the heat got to them. There it is. Oh, oh it came off. Damn it. Crazy hit. He's digging. What is it? What is it? Oh, it's a cuda. It's a cuda. It's a cuda. No! No! Oh well, well, quick release. Ooh, that was crazy. That was crazy. Woo! That was a pretty big cuda too, maybe about like 24 inches, but man, I didn't have to touch him. He did come out the water. I don't know if you guys saw that, but that was pretty cool. He hit it pretty close. Yeah, well, hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. Oh man, he fought so good. <laughs> I don't remember what the hell I did. I think I let it sink. I was just, you know, pulling it like that, reel up the slack. Then he hit it weird. And sometimes these barracuda just, you know, take you by surprise. Remember when you're out here, look around, observe the water, look for boils, look for, you know, disruption in the water, some bait boils, and cast it that way in my situation here i see boils here i see boils over there small ones way out there but there's no way i can cast that far and every time i see a boil up close i already cast at the opposite position so yeah i know guys i would just stand right here and wait for a boil and send it oh that was a bite there it is nope could be a lizard fish but yeah that was a weird little bite. I know to make bigger spoons and I know to make a lot smaller spoons. 
but I figured 5.8 is a uh, you know good size for shore fishing. There's huge boils way out there. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting out there. But yeah, maybe uh, next time I'll get a bigger spoon or maybe a smaller one. Bigger one uh, may, you know, not get a lot of bites, but maybe be rewarded with a bigger fish. Smaller one for sure, I'm gonna get a shit ton of lizard fish. I'm pretty glad I didn't keep that first Mac because I haven't stuck any for about 15, 20 minutes now. I try not to rip this bait too hard in the water. It's a spoon, so I figured if you can do a slow, steady retrieve, rod tip down, or just pull it up and let it flutter down and reel it the slack. There it is. I was on a flutter down. Hey, little sand bass. Whoa. All right, he ate that treble. What, what? Little Sandy on the crock. And look, he's pooping. And he pooped. <laughs> yeah, three species. Hell yeah. I will take it. All I did was pull it to my left, reel up my slack, let it flutter down. Rinse and repeat. Um, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa. That was a definite barracuda. Whoa, that scared the crap out of me. I was, I was literally just gonna tell you guys I'm gonna move to my left, but uh, this guy might still be right here. That was a hard hit. Definitely a barracuda. Or it could be a Corvina. That's all I was doing, just like that. Oh, that was a hit. Thing with casting spoons is that you got to be careful in your cast if you whip it too hard the spoon is not a straight piece of iron hence the name spoon it has a little curve to it sometimes it'll just sway in the wind and it can cause a really bad backlash or a wind knot you guys got to be extra careful when you're whipping these guys out there i'm getting pretty lucky so when you pull the bait up like that the spoon goes does that little u drop praying that it triggers a good bite or bite of any sort, really. All right, I'm gonna put my cooler up, grab my bag, go to my left. Try to hit up that pipeline straight ahead. Maximize my cast. It's lovely out, but I know damn well within the next hour and a half or so, it's gonna be hot as hell. All right, easiest way to get down. You know what, worst come to worst, I might just drop shot it. I've already proven that uh, the crocodile catches fish. You know what, to maximize my distance, I think I'm gonna put on like a 20 gram Jigpara as the weight. Since I'm out of one ounce torpedoes. Let's go with, uh, you know what? Send it, Iwashi. Electric shed? No. I'll try white. A little tiny Kitek, like that. 20 gram as a weight. 
Popped it right out of his mouth. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, came off. No. Oh, came back. <laughs> oh, man. He came back for it. Oh. He came back for it. It's a Mac for sure. Yeah, there it is, yellow tail on the assist hook. Wow, not bad. All right, Whew. Now anthem's playing. Damn, Harbor Island, how's that lose fate in you right there? I'll just be like, you know what? F this. Go home. That macro came out of nowhere. <laughs> That thing felt heavy. Oh. oh well. Whatever it was, it was taking my my line to the right. Could have been a stingray, could have been a bat ray, could have been a halibut, but it hit on the drop. There's literally no snag points out this way. So, could be anything really. You know what? Let's not let that ruin our day. There it is. Lizard fish. Guaranteed. Guaranteed lizard fish. <laughs> yep on the drop shot combo with the jig bar you know what I'll take it it's good for the species count look he won't let go of my bait give that back little guy and I guess I'll take it Ah, another lizard fish. Yep. Right in the dome. There. Slimy sucker. Alright guys, it's 
8.45 a.m. You know what that means. It's time to go home. I got things to do, people to see, places to be. But yeah. Today was not too bad. The crocodile did produce. I did get, I think it was two max and a barracuda and I lost like three bites or missed three bites on the crocodile but I just think the hook is just way too big and yeah and the condition is um, transitioning into warmer season so maybe the bites picking up maybe it's kind of uh, acclimating a little bit maybe it'll be better tomorrow next week who knows but the crocodile spoon is also a clutch bait if you guys don't have any irons no cast masters and you're stuck out here super duper early in the morning or late at night and you need to get something like that to catch fish walmart's open and maybe a landing is open and maybe a tackle shop is open super duper early in the morning but they're about like three to ten dollars a piece and they range from super small size to giant size i mean i've seen two ounce spoons before spoons do work i'll probably try it again next time you know it's in my tackle bag if the time comes the time comes but yeah i mean if you guys use crocodile spoons before let me know in the comments below how do you use them what have been producing for you with them and what color you guys recommend i mean i know a couple of my good friends use them with a cannonball rig up north for halibut uh it's like um, a, a weird dropper loop rig I, I don't even know how to explain it but yeah crocodile spoon thumbs up add it to your tackle and you won't regret it all right well today it warmed up pretty pretty bad caught about five six fish two mackerels a sand bass i think three mac yeah three max or two three or two whatever caught fish two lizard fish for sure a barracuda that popped off right at the rocks and a sand bass like out of all that including the drop shot i was throwing not even a spotty what the hell I, I just don't get it. I mean, where have they gone? Maybe they're here. Maybe they're not. Maybe they moved. I don't know. If you guys been catching spotties out here in San Diego Bay, let me know in the comments what have you guys been using to get them to stick. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I don't know. Or maybe they're just, you know, they're just not here. It's a nice Friday morning. It's definitely going to warm up. Uh, the forecast is going to be around like 88 degrees today. So I wanted to get my fishing in before it gets blazing hot. And you know what? Sure enough, I did. On a Friday morning, cannot beat that. So I encourage all of you guys to get out here. Get your lines wet with your friends and family, by yourself. I don't know. It don't matter. Just get out here. Have a good time. That's all I got to say. Also, I really encourage you guys to join the BG Fishing Community on Facebook. A lot of you guys have been asking how to join. The link is in the description below. Check that out. It should be the first link in the description bg fishing community you guys do have to answer three questions and agree to the you know the community rules in order to join if you guys answered all three and there's no response on the uh the rules that you agree or not i will decline it don't get mad it's just you know I, i'm trying to keep that group as authentic and legit as possible i've had many people requested join before and they joined and all they did was spam videos and they spam like ads and sales and all that stuff i'm trying not to have that kind of community or group atmosphere so i'm trying to just build um you know a basic socal local community that we all can get together once or twice a month do some little derby some little events join you guys on the water share the shoreline wherever hop on a skip with you guys i don't know that's my main goal of creating the community i hope you guys understand that so be sure to check that out in the description below also what else is down in the description below rods reels line lures everything everything i use in this video is in the description below so check that out a lot of you guys ask what do you use what line are you using what pound are you using what reel what rod it's in the description below just check it out guys it's literally right down there watch the whole video and it'll pop up in captions gears used in description below uh, i'm just getting non-stop dms of the same questions and it's just there <laughs> i don't mean to be a dick or a douche it's there all right just wanted to address that but yeah that's pretty much it guys thanks a lot for watching i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and as always good fishing and peace the hell out